morning guys it is monday the 23rd of march um it's currently like quarter past seven in the morning i've been up since five um but i just thought i'd start this vlog here i am at a racing yard today so i won't be able to update you guys until half past 12 ish one ish yesterday was really exciting i went took bobby on his first hack and he was such a good boy um ben came with me but yeah so proud um i might school bobby later on but he's had two days in a row so i might give him this afternoon off but yeah i will update you later on hi right, guys it's about 10 to 1 10 to 2 um i've just got to the yard because this morning i put bob in a full neck rug and it's so warm and sunny so i'm gonna put his fly mask on and a lighter rug i am exhausted i'm literally so tired right now but yeah i'm gonna go and do that but i don't know where he is i've literally walked down his whole field there he is oh so he just had his rug chains and now look, he's in his fly mask. Hey, Isabella. Yeah. Can you come in? Scrappy rug. Come on then. Bobby, come on. He's like, no mom. I'm too busy. so chilled when I'm um, poo picking his field which needs to be done he always follows me around I could literally just sit here for hours and just sit with him bless him I'm mad to think how much he's actually changed in under a year um, could never catch him before he used to like stand at the metal gate back onto the yard and was like, no, nope, I'm not moving. And we'd be stood there for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So, yeah, we're getting like there. I mentioned this morning, we went on our first hack yesterday. I'm so proud of you, Bobby. Hey, so proud. Yeah. That's my ear. <laughs> we would never have done this when we first got him. It's not a treat. So bye then. <laughs> but yeah, he's amazing. See you later, mate. But yeah, like I was saying this morning, um, we went on our first hack yesterday, and that was super exciting. I literally can't believe we've finally done it. That was like our end goal for the summer. Um, I was nervous. You probably can't even see me. Oh my god. I was nervous and Ben was like, don't be nervous, just get on him. Act like you're going in the school. And it worked. I've got horse slob all in my ears. But yeah, I'm gonna go and put his rug back. Head home, have some lunch, cause I am starving. I haven't eaten all morning. And I've been up since five. So, yeah. I've just got home and my tripod has arrived, which I'm currently using now. Um, I got this from eBay and it was £2.90 something and it was free postage. So I bought this, which means I can now do like my tack up and groom, groom and tack up and ride with me. Um, and just loads of other videos. Let me see if I can stand you up somewhere. It's also got a 360 degrees like rotating thing so if I wanted to I could film from the cupboard. Let me see if I can show you. So I could literally like film like this but yeah I got all horse slobber on me which is brilliant but yeah let me just so at the moment I am doing myself an omelette, I am Marvin, so 
Yeah. I'm quite happy with this buy from this tripod. Can't really beat two pounds, can you? I did order it two weeks ago, but obviously with coronavirus going on, um, took a bit longer, which is fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Um, I'm sorry about the lack of video for last Sunday when you're seeing this. It's probably Wednesday, I think. I don't know. But when you're seeing this, I was supposed to upload and I didn't. Purely because I had nothing to upload and I didn't want to make it boring. So I thought, I'm not going to push myself to upload when I don't have anything interesting to say. Or when I actually haven't got anything to film. There's literally no point because then I'm not going to enjoy editing it. And you guys aren't going to enjoy filming it. So... That's that. I'm trying to watch something satisfying. I don't know if you can see that. Whoa, that pants hot. Damn. So I'm going to put you on a quick time lapse. So this one, Pumpkin, she's not very well at the moment. She comes in at night time and she sleeps in the house. I don't know, she has like, it sounds gross, but she has like chicken poo stuck to her bum. Zeus. But like I was saying, Nugget, not Nugget, Pumpkin, the one i just shown you, she's so poorly, bless her. Um, I don't, know, I don't know if it's fresh or what on chickens, but she's got like poo stuck to her bum. She's not really eating or drinking and she kind of isolates herself from the rest of the group. So at the moment, we're just kind of washing her bum with water, um, making sure that it stays clean. I don't know. She stopped laying. So that makes me think it's fresh, but... What is life? Come on. Also, Ben cut my hair. So he, <laughs> this used to be so long. I don't even know if you could tell the difference. But um, it used to touch my bum almost when it was in a ponytail. Um, and I was like, I need a haircut. I need to go to hairdressers. Ben was like, oh yeah, I'll cut it. So I was like, yeah, go on then. See what he does. I didn't actually think he was going to cut it. And he cut it. And he cut about... Two or three inches off. So thanks for that, love. Free haircut. Hit him up, ladies. <laughs> Jokes don't dare. But yeah. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to include some clips from when I was schooling Bobby last week. I think it was. Um, but I've got some videos anyway, so I'm going to insert them here. <laughs> Here she comes, here she comes now, here comes trouble. <laughs> hey? Doing good. Yeah, she's doing alright. Right, we're a bit low up, but what's she want to do, trot? I don't know. Not yet, Why are you going it's for too it? windy. Too windy today. I don't want to risk it today. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, bless. Oh, God, you get off. We went into canter on the lunch floor. Who does? Bobby did. We went into canter. No, we didn't. I had a look. Nice. Hey, get on. Yeah, make him walk, 
so, yeah. I don't know, I've been for a while, have I? <laughs> Morning guys, it is Tuesday <coughs> the 24th, I have literally just woke, well I've been awake for about half an hour but I've literally just been in bed, um, thought I'd have a lie in, um, we we were actually uh well i was panicking and i thought because of coronavirus i won't be able to go and see bobby but um the bhs are posted today <coughs> that we've just got to be extra mindful so we can go to the horses which is uh, i don't know i like bobby's literally on my escape from the world um so yeah, I think I'd go mad if I wasn't able to go to the horse. But anyway, today's a new day. Um, I didn't film anything last night. I had a bit of a, a bit of a breakdown. No, I wouldn't call it a breakdown actually. I, I was, I was a little bit upset, but yeah. But I just thought I'd say hi. I'm currently putting my trainers on because I don't want to wear my wellies to the yard because it's hot. So, I will take you along with me and show you what I get up to. He's so messy. and clean yay for any of you asking I actually use um, this bedding oh he's such a little bugger he literally just spooked at those little ponies seriously Right, come on, get on. later now I have just come back from going to the next village for some bread and milk got bread no milk so I got chocolate instead um, honestly I I don't know how people can still go about life quite normal with all this coronavirus because life isn't normal it shouldn't feel normal I know people are saying that it doesn't feel like it just feels like they're on holiday, but I'm sorry, but this is like a world crisis and people are still going out. Well, before the pubs were closed, people were still going out to all the pubs. And I literally, like, I can't, I couldn't believe it when I heard that. Like, seriously, you're willing to put yourself and others at risk. But yeah, oh, I need my tripod. Cool. My arm's gone go dead, otherwise. This tripod, oh, I forgot to show you yesterday. This is what the tripod looks like. This is like, I've tightened it to this so I don't have to move it. But literally here, let me turn this the camera. This bit's where you put the phone. It's got this little thing where you just lift it up so it goes to iPhones and that. Um, and then this bit is 360 degrees rotational. So like, if I set this straight, I can literally, this bit here, you just loosen it up. And it literally goes anywhere you want it. Let me just show you. So if I loosen that now, this will literally just move. 
so say you wanted to mount this and you wanted to like film something down i mean it, it would if your phone is quite heavy then i don't know if it's going to work but this these are all flexible like i can just do that so if you wanted to grip it around something you can um but yeah two pound ninety something two pound ninety three this was what a bloody bargain so you're now on my tripod um the angle is really rubbish what am i doing it's okay so, <coughs> oh, Jesus, you would have seen earlier me mucking out is because I was actually using this tripod. Um, and yeah, it's really handy. I don't actually have to find somewhere in the stable where it's just going to fall off again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse actually. Um, tonight we are not really doing much to be honest with you um we haven't really got much planned i'm not able to go to any slimming world groups and that's kind of put me off track like i know for a fact i'll put weight on i haven't weighed myself because i know for, I, i've been eating crap since all this coronavirus has come around and i know for a fact i wouldn't have um lost any more weight so the best thing is just try not to stress about it at the end of the day it's my weight loss journey it doesn't matter if i put weight on i know i'm going to put weight on because i've got chocolate and chocolate cake and chips and bacon with the fat on and cooking stuff in oil like i know for a fact i've put weight on so i have a goal this year is to not only to lose weight but i want to quit smoking i haven't actually put on youtube that i do smoke but um yeah I really want to quit smoking otherwise I can't have my IVF so I have to stop smoking and lose a bit of weight to have IVF so that is my main goal that is the reason why I'm pretty much doing everything I do if I don't lose weight then I can't have my IVF and that's like that would literally just break my heart because I know that it's self-inflicted it's my fault I haven't lost weight or it's my fault I haven't quit smoking so um, I also mentioned yesterday that I was at a racing yard that is because I've started the job at a racing yard it is an hour's drive away in the morning, so I have to be up at five o'clock and I have to turn Bobby out by half past five to even get there on time. Um, that is the only the only downside to it. But I work with horses and I've kind of got to get a way into learning that. And if that means I've got to drive a bit further away than that, so be it. Let's put up the chicken. Hey, Nug. Loving life. Cool. And there's two rescues. So, as you can probably tell, I am currently milking cows. <laughs> so hot. end this video because it's i think i'm editing it now and it's literally like 20 minutes long and i didn't realize i could babble on for so long so i've literally had to cut down like so much footage but yeah um thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment anything or comment below what you think to the video and don't forget to forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bells on i'll see you next time guys bye